What's going on guys? It's your boy Chaos bringing you guys another video. This is game 6 through 10 of Weekend League Man. What I told you guys from the last video, if you guys haven't checked that out, I'll put it in a card above me to the top right. But it was really, really, really great Weekend League Man. A lot of really like, I don't know if I'm going to say good players, but really good games, close games, um, turnovers and stuff kept them closer. But just really competitive games, so it was a really fun Weekend League to watch. So I hope you guys are interested in... Uh, happy to watch it man um i'm enjoying watching them back over and doing these recordings for you um just do my spiel real quick man as we have the ball first uh i just wanted to um you see right there odell jump for the ball just saying just saying anyone that knows my stream calvin doesn't jump odell does but something i wanted to say was um pretty much if you guys uh don't mind dropping a like for your boy man um if we get 100 likes on this video i'll give you guys the next set of the weekend league um, but just appreciate y'all dropping a like for me. And as always, if you guys like what I'm running on offense and defense, make sure you guys check out the description. I sell both my ebooks in there. They include Trips Tight End very extensively, as well as 335 Odd and Big Nickel Over G. So make sure you guys check that out, and we'll jump back into the video. So we're up 7 3 in this game, if you guys have been watching. And uh, our offense is really rolling this game. Uh, we drove down the field real easy, and then Monster play to get down into the end zone on the next one. Vernon Davis doing a good job right there. Vernon Davis. He had he had an up and down week, man. He's fast. He catches a lot of a lot of in traffic balls. He can spec. He can spin. He breaks some tackles. He's he's solid almost all the way around. He just has he just has this fumbling issue, and he fumbled for me a decent amount. So that was really the only gripe I had with him. But regardless, man, he did have a good week. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drop off of him like get off of his. Uh, fan train yet we'll give him a few like a few more times i'm definitely using him in salary cap and i can 100 percent say the 56 cap version of him that i'm using in salary cap has been out of this world good has not fumbled at all in the probably how many games eight games maybe i've played and uh and with the in, in those eight games he has been um very 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 good he's catch he's, he's caught out all my passes for me and so he catches a lot for me i throw a lot of drags and zigs and stuff um and he hasn't he hasn't fumbled off any of them so he's getting a lot of catches inbounds where he has to get tackled and he's not dropping he's not fumbling the ball so i like that right there he throws right at us we get a nice pick with antoine buffet uh good user there uh, we're rolling in this game man uh it was one of the, that was one of the few blowouts. Uh, he ended up quitting right after that, so I wanted to keep this video short. So we just jump into the next one. But that, like I said, that was one of the few blowouts uh, of this weekend, man. Um, I I turned the ball over a lot with fumbles. Had a few picks here, or there, some unlucky, some just bad reads by me. Um, and, it, and games stayed closer than they than I think they should. And when that happened, uh, it caused a lot of close games against good players and against probably mediocre-ish to decent players. So. Fact of the matter is, um, there was some good games and there were some bad games, um, but all around competitive games, and that's always a good thing for these videos. So, right there, I'm not sure why he. I mean, he just got sacked a couple times and then quit. Uh, didn't really even give it a chance. Um, I wouldn't really consider that a blowout. Maybe it was going to be one. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, but right here, this guy right here. Uh, comes out, he gets the ball first, he runs toss. You know when you see this in the first play of the game, you're like, oh my goodness, this is what I'm about to deal with, huh? Um, that's never fun, ever. But he ends up going to the pass. I'm, I'm surprised he did that because he had a very successful run, even though he fumbled on it. Like, you can't, I can't expect to fumble every time, so he was going to have some success with it, I feel like. But regardless, we force the pick, and right there, like I said, Vernon, great week from him as far as um, catching the ball and not like really dropping it and getting open. Like as far as that, he felt smoother than Kittle after the catch and even on his routes. But he just fumbled too much, man. It was it was frustrating. So that one was on a spin, and I know there's an emphasis on the spin um, fumbles. But even without spins, like he fumbled some like just regular catches. So I wasn't really a fan of that. But in salary cap, he doesn't even fumble when he's spinning, so it's weird. But regardless, fourth and four, nice little laser um, on a speed out on the uh, trip side. Like that a lot. Uh, next play here, we uh, drag Vernon. 
spins there, and I have no idea. See, like, they call that a hit stick fumble. If that's a hit stick, shoot, every tackle is a hit stick because he didn't even get touched. Uh, we end up getting it back, but Vernon already has two fumbles in this game, and those weren't his only fumbles for the weekend, so you can see why I was a little upset with him. Um, right here, first and ten, throw it to Ricky, and... He breaks every tackle backwards, and we lose five yards on what have, should have probably been a five-yard game. Uh, pretty funny, but we take our three. It's cool. Uh, we both have gotten a stop off a turnover, so we're, we're even right now. But that run, man, it gave me trouble. Um, I, don't, I don't even know if I stop him on the first shot if he doesn't go away from that run. Um, he tried to pass the ball and threw a pick, but that run was giving me some trouble, so... Regardless, we make a big-time touchdown-saving tackle uh, with Ed Reed, and we end up making him take three, which was a huge win because I really thought he was going to score a touchdown on that run. Right there, we hit another dot, and we fumble again. Like I told you guys, games all week were literally like, okay, we can, we can blow these guys out. Like you can see, every time I've made him pass, he's thrown a bad pass. He's thrown two picks already. His, dry, his long drives were all off runs. Um, we just fumbled too many times and it, it makes it it makes it a closer game than it needs to be right there We throw a wide open pass and it bounces off my guy's head like this is what I told y'all man Like this dude was cool too. Like he was in the chat um, and he, He's a cool dude like and he's uh, he's not a bad player by any means like you see he just baited me right there um, And he has like he has some dots from uh, from pistol bunch as well as uh, he had that really really good run but like it wasn't like it wasn't like he was outplaying me. It was more like, like, come on, like I'm fumbling a lot. I'm uh, I'm throwing a wide open pass and it's going off my receiver. Like it was just stuff like that that was really frustrating to deal with. And I, it wasn't just this game. I felt like it was all week, and it was nothing against him. It just was frustrating to have to play with. Like, like I keep saying to you, right there, he gets an A gap from Allen Page when I had a wide open crosser. Uh, so tough break there. And then right here we hit our laser. That's our newest dot. I love it. It's pretty much my go-to right now on fourth and probably seven or longer. It's probably my go-to dot if I need if I need a decent chunk like that. Um, and right there, we hit our corner route. Nice little nice little pass uh, pass and catch there by Moss. Um, and right there, we hit our nice wheel route. And Moss just gets in that perfect pocket, and we're in the red zone. Fourth and goal here from the one. But this is Madden 19 patch number 17. You know what that means? Touchdown QB sneak automatic. You're not stopping me if you get it if you get a first and goal second and goal First and one like second and one whatever if you're one yard away you sneak it you got it Congratulations, you can move them chains like it's just the way this game works for sneak right now Hopefully they get it fixed soon, but I'm with all hundred percent confidence running sneak right there every time um so It's good uh, good drive by me to kind of bounce back after a tough a couple tough breaks in the first half. Um, fourth and 16 here. My guy Zeus. And we get off the field. So all we have to do here, pick up a couple first downs. And I do have to pass because he's got timeouts. And what do you know? Vernon Davis leads to a pick six. I'm thinking to myself, what is going on? All I needed was one first down. I know you guys are going to say in the chat, don't say it. Why didn't you just run the ball? Because if I ran the ball... I would have had to punt it back to him and you don't want to give someone the ball back and I'm throwing a safe pass oh man don't say it don't say it ah but right there we throw we get a bad animation but it becomes the best animation so I pass on that down but it didn't do anything so the safety has a chance of making a play and Randy Moss just makes a Randy Moss play and we get a touchdown on it so this game just became all out of control all bad he gets a little lucky, I get a little lucky, we all get a little lucky. But right there, we get the tip pick, LT rips it off, and we get out with the W. Unbelievable game, man. I don't, too much went on in this game to say, but it was a good overall fought win. And Zeus isn't a bad player by any means. 20-plus uh, win guy, from what I know him as. Um, just felt like things were going his way a little bit, and uh, we should have been able to win it a little bit easier, but... Fact of the matter is, we got the dub, that's all that matters, and this competitive week keeps on rolling. So we got the ball first this game, and uh, we're bombing them over the top. I don't know what adjustments he made right there. He tried to man up everybody, but he left circle. So we end up getting a deep ball. 
somehow he keeps up with me with Shazier, even though my Randy Moss has 99 speed, so I was a little mad about that. But, uh, excuse me, I'm not sure if uh, if Shazier has 99 speed or not. I'm not sure what version of he has and all that, but right there, just playing a little bit of big boy football, throwing it up to Calvin. That was something that's big this week for me as well. Just It's every week, really, just playing a lot of big boy football, throwing it up to our big boys and letting them go play. Uh, but right there, he has a nice playmaker. Uh, he did double crosser to the fade and then and then playmaker the crosser up, which is not what you see very often. And right there, huge hit from our user. He had a look what looked like a wide open dot, and we're able to user click on. Uh, sorry, not user click on, but user run over there, make a play on it, and we get the tip pick. Next play, we're off to the races with a run, and we're taking it for a touchdown. Now this guy's gonna quit out after this, but guess what? I don't know if he did it on purpose. Or if he did it on accident. But we just, you just seen, we blew him. Well, I don't know if you want to consider it a blowout. It was only one possession he quits. We match up with him again. Now, when I tell you guys, EA made this game close, you're going to see. this. Things just got wild. I did not play the best game personally. I didn't. However, EA kept this one. It kept it around. But you can see he's cute with this little playmaker on his pistol bunch. Um, he playmakers his little vertical route over, um, and it messed up my user right there pretty bad. And the next play here, he gets a nice little run with Todd Gurley. Um, but he ends up settling for three, so not the worst start. We let him get three. That playmaker was messing me up, though. I'm not going to hold you. Um, I think it definitely gave me a little bit of issues. But regardless, we're going we're gonna to have to answer here. At least we'll get some points, and what do you know? Another fumble. I'm, I'm trying to fall down. I'm in the fall down animation. If you guys want to rewind and slow it down, you guys can clearly see it. And it just doesn't let me fall. And I get rocked in a fumble. And then he ags me. And then he scores. So it's like... Game is just wild. Like, a guy I just blew out, or at least was controlling the game handedly on. I'm in a game where I'm down to nothing. I haven't even played offense yet. It's like, it's like the games can just go completely different ways. And then we get stopped. So, we're in a rough spot right now. We're, we're getting dominated. Um, he drove for a field goal the first drive. We fumble a kickoff. He gets a touchdown off an ag. We get stopped, actually. Then, next play here. Uh, waiting on this playmaker now. He doesn't do it. We send our spy, and we're able to get a sack. So, third down and 22 here. Big play, because if I get a sack, he would be out of field goal range. Um, but I'm not able to do so, and he gets himself another field goal. So 13 nothing. Per perfect start for him. Perfect start for him. Um, he did what he had to do. He's got scores on all three of his drives, and we're, we're in some trouble. Right here, though, we're able to throw a nice little dot to Moss, pick up 25. Um, and he's cross everybody, as you can see. And I didn't learn my lesson from uh, previous games where I utilized my zigs uh, more. So I, And it kind of hurt me um to a high degree and right there i'm thinking there's no way i don't get a rack ag on that i would say nine times out of ten i catch that with a rack ag maybe maybe even a higher percentage of that maybe 95 out of 100 but regardless we don't catch it so he gets another stop and uh he's getting ready to go up looks like 16-0 after that stop so Luckily for us, we've done a really, really good job in the red zone to prevent him from getting any extra lead. He, we could easily be down 24, 28, nothing right now. And uh, and we're going into halftime down 60, nothing. However, it is our ball, so we have a chance to fight. We come out of halftime with a straight up laser. And right there with a crazy playmaker, and we're into the end zone. We score in under a minute. Huge drive. I went for two, and I didn't get it, but it was a monumental drive right there. One big dot. One post playmaker it up dot, and we're into the end zone right here. We gotta get another stop. We gotta we gotta keep the pressure on this guy, and he has a nice playmaker. I can't get my fumble back off a hit stick. Tough break for me there. Uh, to not get my fumble back, but right there he hits us with a nice laser over the middle, and I'm in trouble now. Um, we, uh, when we force that second fifteen, we have to get off the field there, and we get up a first down, which sucks. But we get the turnover. I don't know what he was doing. That's all on him. That's a mean fold. If he just throws the ball away, nothing bad happens to him right there. He gets at least three to go up 13, but instead, yik six, and we are in this one, boys. 16-13, second and six here. He throws it up deep all the way into coverage, and another yik. Luckily for him, he falls down because that had 40, 50 yards of green for me. 
but man, oh man, we on this guy now. Uh, we were down 16 nothing. We got a we got a quick touchdown, another quick pick six, another pick, and we're on our what you like to call money time drive. Now I seen what he was doing with his cross man the play before. We got Randy going deep. You can't mess with Randy like that. He's lucky to even have made a tackle. Uh, we bomb him over the top there. Now we're in his red zone. He's really sweating now because he was up 16 nothing, and he's now. 16 13 and we're rolling you see what we're doing here we're putting fades in the field we're looking for a high ball and we get it in there just in time to odell down to the one yard line you guys know what that means i told you all already qb sneak action boys guys if this isn't one of the best games you've seen all year i can't help you and guess what it's not even over yet if you guys don't drop a like on this video for this game alone i can't help you i love y'all Let's get that like button to 100, 100, please, 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 please. But look at this, guys. He hits me with a laser. He's driving. He needs seven. Three doesn't help him, which is good for me because it means I can play a little bit more conservatively and not worry about him getting into field goal range. And, uh, and it means we can, we can kind of, we have more options defensively, I should say, because I don't have to worry about him getting into field goal range. Right here, I left the crosser because I knew I had to get to the wheel route. The wheel route was naked. But guess what? The crosser's naked too. Now he's on my 10. Second and goal. And he, I cross man his slant. And we get burnt. We give up a touchdown. I'm sick to my stomach right now. But you know what? He done left me 20 seconds with three timeouts. You can't leave me 20 seconds with three timeouts in, in this game. Because you know what's going to happen? We're going to throw a laser. And look at Randy Moss on the sideline on his corner route. Dot. Two seconds to go, boys. We get that just in time. And... We get our field goal. Now, you're probably wondering, how can he possibly leave that corner route open? And I agree with you. He needs to cover that corner route 100%. However, he did have to worry about the post from the from the tight end simply because I had timeout so I could throw the ball inbounds. That's just something to know. Right there, I do something stupid on second and 10. I get myself behind the sticks. That's probably the worst thing you can do in this game is get yourself behind the sticks in an overtime, and I have to punt him the ball away. It's just... I don't, I don't feel like I can I can go for it on 4th and 20 right there. Um, it just wouldn't be a smart decision, especially because I feel like I was playing good defense for most of this game. And right here, you already seen, we forced a 4th and 20, and he's got to punt it back to me. Like I said, I felt like I was playing good defense most of the game. Um, it's, just, it's just I gave him free points with those fumbles and picks earlier, so like he never had to drive the ball. I just When he had to drive the ball, he struggled. And we got Ricky Williams on our team, boys. He's an awful running back, but he gets us into field goal range. If that's anybody else, that's a touchdown. But he's out of there. We got this boy twice, once in a blowout, once in the sweatiest game of the entire year. Unbelievable win, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy, man. Peace.